Welcome to Ferritone Studios. I'm going to show you how to turn a mixing desk into a desk for your studio. Like this one, uh, all you'll need is an angle grinder, uh, some timber, a sheet of glass and a mixing desk. I'm also going to show you how I destroyed my camera lens while making this desk because this is absolutely ruined. Um, but yeah, the desk is fantastic, so let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. What I'm going to do is measure this side edge, get a bit of timber, cut two 45s on it, and then start working my way around to build a three by two frame. Perfect. What I'm gonna do is measure from about halfway around the frame to each side and get an idea of what size piece of glass I need. Sixty centimeters by seventy-two, so six hundred by seven twenty. So I'm gonna order that. Toughened. Glass arrived. The most exciting part about that is it's got these little blue things on, so you can see it's glass. I imagine that's what it's for, so you can find it otherwise completely invisible. So this is the frame mixing desk, and this is the sheet of glass. What I'm going to do is set it centre to the frame and then draw around it um, and then set it in the frame. You could use a router and run that round, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is run it through a table saw, set six mil deep, and then I can run it around the edge, which I'll show you in a minute, and that'll set it in. Uh, I'm going to take the frame off and then sand it all up so it's nice and then put some knotting on the knots, otherwise they'll bleed through when I paint it. I'm going to paint it black. Um, and that's the plan. Let's do it. Now these are all done, see that groove, nice. So the glass sits in here, flush with the top. I'm gonna to put it together as a frame, uh, run a sander over it. I may even take 10 mil off the back just so it's a bit shallower. I don't know how I feel at the moment. Um, but I'm gonna do that, put it together, put the mixing desk inside it. Uh, am I gonna do that? Yeah, let's do that. And before doing anything else, make sure the, gr the glass fits and make sure it's raining. Okay, so it's hammering it down. Wicked. So I'm just gonna do some sand in here. Just gonna run, this is 60 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna go over it lightly around the corners and slightly bevel these edges. Just neaten it up a bit and then go over it again with 120 grit sandpaper. Just smooth it over. Lovely. Now that it's all sanded, I'm gonna go over it with some knotting. And what this stuff does is, let me show you. You put it over the knots, like this one, and it seals them so it stops any sap or tree juice, that's the proper word for it. Stops that seeping through and discoloring your paintwork. Uh, I'm gonna paint it black anyway, and um, it probably, you know, it takes years for it to happen anyway, but might as well do a proper job. So, bosh some of this on it, leave it to dry. I kind of like putting two coats of this on just to make sure. Uh, so we'll do that and paint it black. 
And now, some black paint. So let that dry. I don't know how long it takes, probably a couple of hours. Uh, come back, give it another coat. And then probably leave that overnight. So I don't want to set the glass in, find out that it hasn't dried, and then have black paint all over the glass. I can scratch it off, but that's not ideal. So I'm gonna leave it for an hour or two, whack another coat of black on it, come back tomorrow, and then Put the mixing desk in. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glass in first, turn it upside down and then push the mixing desk to it and then fix it. Um, and then sort of in the centre the glass won't just be resting on the frame, it'll be resting on the knobs of the desk a bit so just in case my kids come in and jump on it, hopefully it's less likely to break. <sighs> Who knows, I mean I could set it down, wouldn't really matter. I'm sure it's fine, it's toughened glass. Who knows? So yeah, that's the plan. So the frame's dried, I've put the glass in it, so it's nice and flush. So what I'm gonna do is clamp it in place with some rubber-ended clamps and uh, put some extra bits of rubber, these come stuck to the glass, just so nothing gets damaged. Turn it upside down and push the mixing disc up to it. and fix it in place. And here is the finished desk. It looks the nuts, uh, it's really nice. I think it really looks good in the studio. One thing I will say is that uh, if you've got an optical mouse, they don't work too well on a glass desk. So I had to buy a mouse mat, very 90s, just so it works. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Normally my mouse and keyboard on here, but I've taken them off just so you get more of an idea of what it looks like. And obviously I've got my big knob on the desk because that's where I like to keep my big knob so i hope you like it hope you like the video like subscribe to everyone and uh yeah if you make one please let me know so i'd like to see it cheers